and welcome Harmony Cultivators to our Chinese Medicine Vlogmas. Today we'll be sharing the Chinese Medicine perspective on an old holiday traditional favorite, eggnog. First, let's take a look at some of the ingredients so we can get a better idea of their effects energetically on the body. We know one of the first ingredients is heavy cream, which is also known to be very dampening to the body. There's also egg yolks that are added, which are also considered very dampening, a more dampening part of the egg than the white. The egg whites are actually considered cooling, but they don't use those typically in eggnog. Sugar, which we also know is another ingredient that is very dampening and energetically to the body. Nutmeg, which is considered warming. And then we know sometimes that some type of alcohol is added, so rum, or brandy, which alcohol in general is considered very warming and even sometimes if you have too much toxic to the body because it's so hot. So you can see that eggnog is extremely moistening or dampening to the body and possibly even warming to heating. So it can also really lead to a damp heat condition in Chinese medicine. So traditionally, this was eaten in times where people didn't have as much access to nourishing foods. And this may sound strange that we're really considering something that's, you know, very sweet, nourishing, because we don't really equate those two um, words in the English or Western culture. But that's really exactly what dampening foods are. They're nourishing to the body. Damp foods tend to have a lot of sugar or another version, carbs. So you can almost make a connection um, between the two uh, Eastern and Western thinking if you'd like. But because sugar or damp foods are so moistening and dampening to the body, so because they are so nourishing, um, this is also why they help you hold weight, right? They add weight, fat to the body. You know, this is really another reason why bakers or anyone in the cooking industry knows that sugar is actually considered a wet ingredient, not a dry ingredient when you are baking or cooking. Now, in older times where people had less access to nourishing foods to hold them over the winter especially, or who didn't have heated homes, their daily um, activities included a lot more physical labor. You know, a little bit of eggnog would be very, you know, nourishing, warming, um, helpful, and sustaining the body during this period of time and would be considered a good choice in winter because winter in Chinese medicine is known not only just to be cold but also to be very drying. The body loses moisture and we really start to see um, the blood and other fluids in the body condensing in order to self-preserve. So like I always like to point out in Chinese medicine there is no right or wrong. There is no good or bad food. It really depends on your body, your lifestyle, and other similar factors. So if you're already struggling with damp conditions, then eggnog may be a choice that you want to pass on this holiday season. Or still dampening, but in my experience has been less dampening, is trying an almond version of eggnog. I personally stay away from oat varieties of um, dairy alternatives just because I find for some reason the oat varieties are very dampening. I don't know if it's just the fillers or what that is used in them that are making them damp, but I've had no good luck with that, so personally I would pass on the oats, unless you're making it yourself. But this reminds us to come back to our personal own experience of you know foods and life and to to experiment and to listen what is your experience what is your body telling you we use Chinese medicine as a guide to understand food properties and energetics to make decisions but in the end Chinese medicine and this is derived from Taoism which if you look at it is really a science of how the universe operates is a science and we're all kind of these little experiments or different manifestations of this reality and so tinkering and playing around is part of the human experience and part of the fun really. So make sure you are subscribed so you get notifications for this year's Chinese Medicine Vlogmas. Thanks, we'll see you tomorrow.